Stop painting minis! All right, all jokes aside, in this video, I will tell you why I stopped painting minis to paint more minis. Yes, seriously. See you after this. Okay, first of all, I haven't stopped painting minis forever. I just stopped painting minis to get rid of a problem. My main problem was that I always thought all the stuff I want to paint is in a box. It needs to be assembled, it needs to be primed, it needs to be prepared, and I wanted to get rid of that problem. So I just built them all. I also have some minis left that are not built, but they are mostly not that many. This will be my most ambitious project so far. This will be the Torn Knight. A knight made for chaos undivided. Four parts of this body will become a part for every chaos god. I would like you to come along on this journey, so um, please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. All of these minis were once in my pile of shame. And you have to ask yourself, where is your pile of shame coming from? Where are all the other nasty habits like gear acquisition syndrome, gas, FOMO, fear of missing out, and procrastination? Where are those coming from? Which activities in your brain get triggered? Which void are you trying to fill? These are all valid questions, but I can answer one of them pretty easily. Oh no! Am I being excluded? I'm going to die if I'm being excluded. Nope, you're not being excluded. But that is the basic fear underlying all that stuff that you're doing. Gear acquisition syndrome. What are you afraid of? Of course, you're afraid of the outcome. You are afraid of a bad outcome of your paint job. And that triggers a basic human fear. The fear of being excluded. You are not belonging to the club of good painters. That's excluding. And if you got excluded way, way, way back, excluded from the group, that meant death. You were on your own in the wilderness and you surely would die. And this old basic fear is still in your head. But you're not going to die. You just need to remember that this is an old mechanism so you can overcome it. Hello and welcome guys to another episode of Paint What? Dude, there is some... Why is there someone behind my microphone? Uh, what you doing there, mate? Well, we are recording a podcast here and if you want to listen to it, you have to go to Paint Water Soup. I will link the channel down below, but you can't stay here, mate. This, is, uh, this needs to be edited first, okay? Get out of here. You are not getting the newest box which means you can't play with sad box. So you can't join a group to play the game that, it's, that is in that box, which will surely mean you will be excluded from the group. And being excluded means you will surely die out in the wilderness, starving to death, getting eaten by wolves. Oh wait, there we go again. The old mechanism hardwired into our brains you will not be excluded. So we now have a pile of shame that we got through FOMO. We got tons of gear that we got through gear acquisition syndrome because we didn't want to be excluded. And now we are procrastinating for so many different reasons. And we're gonna tackle those too. But first of all, let's recap. You got gear acquisition syndrome because you are afraid of the outcome. And that the only possible way to overcome this is get rid of expectations. You gotta paint for yourself and don't be expecting anything magical happening except for finding enjoyment, finding relaxation. If you want to be the next top painter of the world, sit your ass down and paint a million hours. Make the decision. 
But if you just want to paint for enjoyment, move from the fear, the fear of the outcome, to enjoyment. Be open-minded about the outcome. Be ready to learn. This will get rid of your gear acquisition syndrome. But we want to get rid of FOMO too, right? <clears throat> Nothing is more easy than that. He said and bought another box. I still have to answer one question for myself. What void do I want to fill inside me? There is definitely a void. I am not at a point where my mental health is perfect, but I'm aware of it. If you're aware of your mental health, um, you find ways and you find those little switches you can flip on and off. And just knowing stuff like, oh, there's a void I want to fill. Maybe I should look for other things that would fill this void better, like being around friends or traveling around the world, doing something positive and not being afraid of. And this is, again, the fear of being excluded. For FOMO, it is also uh, not only the void, but it is also uh, the fear of losing status. Because if you lose status, guess what? You're being excluded. You did miss out as a kid? Oh, you were excluded as a kid. Hmm? Right, better fill that void. Better try everything to not be excluded. Or maybe just realize that you are not being excluded and that you can chill and that you can relax. But well, that is actually up to you. Another thing could be externally triggered self-worth. If you're not able to set a worth for yourself, which only you yourself can do, and it can only be fed by external stimuli, that is something we all should work on. I am not free from this fault. And yes, for me that is a fault, because I should be setting this worth, no one else. If everything burns down, everyone will leave me. Everything that is still left is just me. And I need to find a good worth and the black numbers for that situation for myself. And I'm myself not there yet, but I'm working on it. And I guess you can do it too. Because if your self-worth is triggered from the outside, those triggers will be gone someday. <sighs> okay. I now found out that there's a void that I need to fill. And I need to take a long, hard look what will fill that void. But still, I am procrastinating. I found out that I don't need to fear the outcome if I'm open-minded and that I will not be excluded. Still, I am procrastinating. I found out that my pile of shame uh, partly comes from my fear of missing out. And I know now that I'm not being excluded if I miss out on a box, but still I'm procrastinating. Why? Well, first of all, my mental blockade was everything I want to paint is in a box. So I removed that block. Simply start by removing the biggest block for yourself. Easy. But still, your brain is an odd creature. <laughs> your brain doesn't work in right or wrong. Your brain works in task accomplished. So basically, I am lazy. So I procrastinate and I procrastinate and I procrastinate. And my brain gets to hit that checkbox. Yes, he is lazy, he was right, he procrastinated all the time. And that resulted in chemicals that I for myself enjoy when my brain gives me that chemicals. So what can you do to break that cycle? First thing you just learned, you know about it. You know about that cycle and you have to get into your core beliefs. If your core belief is, I am lazy, you will procrastinate. It is that simple. So take a core belief like that and rewrite it. 
write it on a piece of paper and glue it or post it on a mirror that you daily look into. Like in the bathroom where you brush your teeth in the morning. And rewrite that sentence to I can accomplish stuff or I will accomplish my goals. Rewrite that core belief into some, something positive. Keep it there for 90 days. Read it every day as often as you can. And then you will rewire your brain. All right, guys, what shall we paint next? Maybe this little guy. He is waiting to be painted for a pretty long time now. Ooh. Also the bear from Corvus Belly. I really can't wait to paint him. Such a beautiful sculpt. Or we could... What the heck is this? What is this? Peter! Just kidding, guys. Meet Wiley. Wiley is the mascot for Witness My Minis. And Peter is my amazing co-host and dear friend. He now has his own YouTube channel and I would be really grateful if you could go over and hit those pesky buttons you're always hitting for me. Yeah, guys, sorry. No painting in this video, just talk. But I still hope you enjoyed it. And if you could hit those buttons, I will be really thankful for that. But I have a lot of nice videos planned and partly produced. It's not only the night for Chaos Undivided. I painted my Kill Team Creek, doubled them up, made 20 of them, and I painted them with Army Painter Speed Paints and just a dry brush, just to show you how a real quick paint job could look like. I have a failed paint job and I'm still proud of the paint job and I will tell you exactly why I am proud of a failed paint job. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time here on the bear and the brush.